Okay, this is Obama 2.0, a continuation of his administration. Um, so the Biden administration asked Americans to report potentially radicalized friends and family. Okay, so this is a continuation of um, Obama 2.0. Okay. And you have to understand something, people, here. They have already Skynet in place. They can read your brain thoughts already. Now, what they've done is they have gang stalkings, gang stalkers, okay? Hitler's brown shirts, whatever you want to call them. They snitch on you, okay? And they carry their iPhone and they monitor your behavior, okay? So what you have to be aware of, especially if, you ha if you're a gun owner, you have to be very, very aware of your surroundings and your own behavior, okay? This is tied to behavior modification, okay? All right. They love to use frequency to attack the human body and the brain, okay? To get you to act out, okay? So that they can get the guns. Okay, do you understand this? They have remote neural monitoring. Okay, this is also interesting because you need to be aware of this guy. He wrote a book called See Something, Say Nothing. Okay, this was a former Homeland Security officer and I think it's the same guy. Um, he was found dead many years ago. Um, but he exposes the government's submission to jihad. Okay. And he, was, he did many, many interviews on Fox News and um, ABC, and he was telling everybody that he knew that, you know, he, he was a target because he discovered the insides of Homeland Security and how this is tied to Jihad and how it's tied to Obama. Well, not really him, but his administration, so... So he wrote this book. I think his name is Philip Haney. Okay. I think he's the one that did, um, he did, he's the one that did all the interviews and stuff. So, and then also, you need to be aware of how the military and your police is building long range faci facial recognition that works in the dark. Okay. They have a zillion satellites up in the sky now, people. You have to be aware of Skynet, okay? So this whole article here is based on the fact, it's based on your behavior, how you behave in public, okay? All right? And this is a violation of your Fourth Amendment rights, whether you know, realize that or not. It is. Okay. President Joe Biden <clears throat> administration announced their plans to create ways for Americans to report, aka gang stock, aka um, citizens on patrol and FBI fusion centers, to report radicalized friends and family to the government in an effort to fight domestic terrorism. Okay, well, this whole thing is tied to what this guy said. It's submission to jihad. That's the secret. That's the secret in the sauce, people. It's right here. Okay? Submission to jihad. So, in a conversation with reporters, when senior administration official explained the importance of stopping political few few fueled violence before it started. Okay, before it started. You know what that is? That's Plantier Technologies. That's Minority Report. Okay? Like I told you, I know this technology. That it's behavior modification. It's reading your brain thoughts. Okay? And your DNA. Okay? Stopping political field violence before it started. So they're running a profile on you way before you even walk out the door.
because the technology is that sophisticated where when you're born your DNA is analyzed okay they have this shit people your HIPAA rights have been violated whether you realize it or not there's so many things that they've done that have have, have broken the trust of humanity Okay, so tootling on down here, we will be working, we will work to improve public awareness of federal resources to address concerning or threatening behavior before violence occurs. Okay, what did I tell you? Plan to your technologies. The official side of the Department of Homeland Security, if you see something, say something campaign is to help radical Islam terror as domestic possibility. No, it's just the opposite, people. It's to subject you to submission to jihad. That's what this guy was saying. He was a former Homeland Security officer and he, he was warning the public about this. Okay. You should get his book. But anyways, this involves creating contacts in which those who are family members or friends or co-workers, see, snitch on your co-workers, yeah. know that there are pathways and avenues to raise concerns and seek help for those who have perceived to be radicalized and potentially radicalizing towards violence see so he's like saying a rise in political extremism white supremacy domestic terrorism okay so you, the human being going about your day, your brain thoughts are being monitored, people. The U.S. military is building a supercharged facial recognition system that could detect the faces of individuals in a long range and dark condition. The system will be ready for action as soon as next year. Okay, and this was dated February 1st, 2020. Okay. According to one zero, the U.S. military is spending about $4.5 million dollars to develop a facial recognition system that reads the pattern of heat being emitted by faces in order to identify people in trivial conditions. Plan two technologies, people. Wake up. In order to build this system, the U.S. military has given a grant of two was had given one grant two point eight million to Sign Systems, a California-based company specialized in infrareds sensor technology. The other gives regular government contractor Polaris sensor technologies 1.5 million to develop the facial recognition system. Okay. Anyways, you could look this up. I'm not going to sit here and read it. But, you know, it's out this, this information is out there, people. Here's the name of the tech grabite, whatever. And also you should check out this guy's book. Okay. He was warning people many, many years ago about what the government is really up to. Submission to jihad. Okay. Look it up, people. Look up this guy. Look up his name on the internet. You'll find that he did um he did quite a bit of interviews with Fox News and other major networks. And he was warning people. He was warning people about this stuff. Okay, so here you go. This is in today's news. Okay, and all of this is tied to plantar technologies, monitoring your behavior. Okay? And the police know about it too. The police. Your local police know about your behavior. Okay, they know your heart rate. They know your... Um, they know what you're buying, they would know when you're driving, they know everything. They got a zillion, there's a zillion satellites out there, people. Okay? And there's more to it. 
but I'm just giving you um, I'm giving you the uh, the nuts and the bolts as to what's really going on okay so wake up every single man woman and child has already been chipped you may not want to hear that but it's true and if you can't you know I, you know I'm sorry but you know it's best that you know the dirty dark truth than walk around and not know okay because this right here I am not kidding you is tied to um, crimes against humanity okay you need to know that okay they've got every man woman and child locked and loaded into their little AI system people it's already up in the cloud Skynet's already here people it's already here so yeah this is one way for them to um, quote unquote get the guns or do their red flag laws okay All right and you should get this book this guy was not sh he was not he was a street shooter I think um, he saw he saw this shit look him up people I'm not kidding you look up Philip Hanny he did a million videos he was warning everybody about this shit okay wake up 